Hey Brick Maniacs, welcome back to another Monday episode of Brick Mania TV. Uh, today we're taking a look at some restock pre-orders as well as some of uh, the figures that come with them in our minifig of the month. And in a special episode, we're gonna have Landon here count the number of opening hatches on the VAB. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. 17. 17. 17 opening hatches on the return. Is that right? Of the VAB. Oh, I have no 18, idea. 18, that closes. Oh. Remember, these are opening oh. and closing 18. hatches. They do both. Dual functions. They're also removable. As you... I'm always going to forget something. That's just the way it is. Yes, they're also removable, Landon. Thank you for reminding me of that. Mm -hmm. um, this is a pretty sweet little holiday gift. Falls in an excellent price point to the point where you can either get this and some more stuff or multiple of these, which is cool. Love the figure that comes with it. You wanna just... Yes, uh, actually this is one of my favorite, one of my more favorite figures from recent times, I guess. Yeah. Um, some cool source imagery to go with this. It was fun research, researching all the, just the different stuff going into this. Mm -hmm. um, and it's kind of a interesting mismatch of different equipment um, in that UN helmet school. I think there's a, there's a there's slight variance in the artwork depending on which one you get in your kit. So Cool. That's something to note. Oh, is the beat up UNs? Is that yeah, a... there's some different distressing and different fonts going on. Just because they wouldn't have access yeah, it's all to, over the place. to the same stencil. Isn't or... it usually a cover too? Isn't Sometimes, it just um, usually in, their combat helmet with a, with a blue cover? The on newer the ones are, but when they're using the pot helmet, it's probably just going to be painted on. Got it. Okay. So, cool. I mean, it's... You'll see both. Mm -hmm. Even on the pot helmet, you'll see covers occasionally. Yeah, well, well, definitely a, a cool figure. And you know what? This this wouldn't this wouldn't be wrong either if you want to take this guy and uh, you know attempt to free the world from the the randos. It's you kind know. of like that zombie horde. That's almost. what I'm saying. The randos come in. I don't know if randos are alive or dead. Tip it over. You know. I think it varies between rando. It's well, random. Or, yeah, yeah, we'll go with that. It's some are cyborgs. Some are alive. Yep. You're saying cyborgs can't be alive? Wow, that's really humanist of you. Oh my goodness, yes. The AI debate has begun. It's, it's going to be a while before we're big enough to have Elon Musk on, so we can, we can Again. hold off. Again? Oh, all right, Joe. Okay, so yes, the VAB is back right now as well. Uh, we also have two Humvees. Uh, we've got the Special Ops, which I believe there's still some online that are shipping right now. Um, so this pre-order batch will go up after those have already sold out. Um, but we should have those... So assuming they survived the sale last week, we'll either have them available for pre-order or ready to ship right now, so make sure to check that out. This is another one. Actually, all three of these are great Christmas kits because they all fall in an awesome price point. They've all got cool printing. They come with figures. There's just a lot going on here that would be exciting to, to have under the tree, in the stocking, next yeah. to the menorah, whatever you do, you know? Yeah, the UN vehicle plus uh, one, either one of these Humvees uh, I mean, they, they would still work together with mm -hmm. this UN vehicle. You're still seeing these across the world. Well, yeah, and if you own a Blackhawk, let's talk a yeah, little bit about... That, especially this combo. That's, yeah, let's that's talk about combo. Task Force Ranger here. So first of all, when you think of a Humvee, to me, this is pretty much what comes to mind. Yes, this is, as well. This is all the movies. Um, this, is, this is, you know, everything from Red Dawn to... Black Hawk Down. Exactly. You know? That's I mean, what I think of when I think of a Humvee. Yeah. Um, and so I love this color scheme. The texture printing on the doors is absolutely excellent. Um, super true to that Lego color. And then obviously it comes with two figures, uh, which, which just adds to be able to have the, the full crew ready to rock with it, kind of like the Special Ops one. Do you want to go over? I know, they're, I know they're slightly different eras, but can we do a little comparison between the modern Humvee oh, crew and the old school comparison. one? Comparison. Um, <clears throat> okay, so... First off the bat, what stands out to me would be the different camouflage uh, schemes. Right. So, um, in these earlier ones um, from that like early '90s era, it was a sort of a transitional period from uh, from like wood. Like we're thinking maybe a European theater with that woodland um, to more of a desert theater. So we're seeing a transition. There's three different camouflages going on here. Mm -hmm. um, whereas later on, they got we kind of have our our act a little more together. Um, so it's it's all pretty much desert. Um, there is a little bit of multi-cam strewn in there in the ammo pouches. And then I guess the pants are also multi-cam. So there's also a little bit of mishmashing of, of camouflage going on. Mm -hmm. So there's, we're still kind of, you know, um, we're not settling on necessarily one camouflage pattern. Right. We probably never will. Um, there's always just new developments. Um, so that's the first thing that stands out. This is a bit more, um, this is a more dedicated desert environment, I'd say, right. compared to this, even though there's some pretty obviously, like, look at that desert pattern on top of that helmet. Mm -hmm. um, and then it's sort of old, like older, maybe like, you know, post-Vietnam gear. Um, and then this would be a lot more cutting edge stuff, so. 
Very, very cool. An awesome comparison of, of two excellent Humvees and their crews. Um, I think both of these are, are definitely worth being part of the collection, mm -hmm. um, especially come this holiday season. So make sure to make sure to take advantage of those. Landon, thanks for going over those figures. We also have the minifig of the month back, the uh, World War II Russian Naval Infantry. Yes. Very, very unique figure. Uh, gone over him a couple of times. Make sure to check out that review video uh, that we posted a couple of weeks ago to hear the full breakdown of all the cool stuff going on with that guy. But he's in his last batch, I want to mm. say. Yeah, he's been steady. Pretty close. Steadily selling. Mm -hmm. So uh, just be on the lookout for that. We're nearing the end of the month, and so we'll one, maybe two more batches, and that'll be what's uh, the, the end of the Russian Naval Infantry. Um, very, very cool. Awesome figure. Super unique. Excited to see what more 3D printed headpieces allow you to create more unique figures. So I'm glad that that barrier has been busted through yes. for you because it, it is something that the LEGO, even with what Brick Arms does, you know, the Lego inventory and the Brick Arms inventory is still pretty limited when it comes to all the different berets, yeah. hat styles. And every country has their own variant exactly. of the same headgear. Mm -hmm. Like maybe the fabric is folded this direction, whatever. You know, there's, there's like uh, an endless amount of variants. Mm -hmm. And we always do what we can to get it right. And so that's, that's what we're trying to do within the 3D printing thing. And it's also a reason why stuff like the fast helmet, etc., we can't offer in giant quantities standalone because we're trying to make sure that stuff like the minifig of the month, etc., has the 3D printed items to make them that next level of figure. So part of what we're dealing with, we appreciate the patience. It won't be that way forever. Um, and then finally, we already talked a little bit about him taking over and destroying the VAB. Well, yeah, let's get this in like a proper, mm -hmm. so it tipped over, UN, this is, every movie starts out like this, and then yes. you have the uh, either zombies or whatever mm -hmm. horde on top of. Cyborg apocalyptic horde. Yeah, they're on top, they've taken over and something's on fire. Yes. So like, we're lighting this on we're fire. We're walking in unison, how do we do that with a board between our feet? It's like a giant, like, mm -hmm. Boy, soldier. Hey, they might be able to work together. You, you, you never know Five what's going to happen in the random. Okay, I can get this. Yes. Nice. All right, cool. Yes, so that's a look at uh, some of the randos. Uh, we just wanted to show off kind of how we're incorporating some of those 3D printed elements along with the imperfect caliber, uh, which is kind of the randos special, <laughs> which Landon was even saying some of them, it's hard to even tell the difference between the two, but our printers know. Our printers know, and so they're the ones who are like, nope, these are imperfect, we're moving them yeah, aside. Yeah, I, I went back there a little while ago, and there's a cup that just said imperfect caliber, and that made me laugh. Mm -hmm. I was like looking through them, and I was like, what's, what's wrong with these? No, it's a, it's a nice inclusion to the Randos lineup, especially with stuff like those AKMs um, and some of the other stuff that we put out this week. Expect a, expect a really awesome lineup, uh, and then remember, your first shot uh, through a promotion to get the Randos will be Halloween weekend, um, and then more news to follow that. So. That'll be, the, that'll be the initial crack at them, and then we'll see what uh, happens moving forward into the holidays, but that'll be pretty sweet. I'm really excited for the expansion of the Randoverse. Um, finally, remember we have the Wounded Warrior fundraiser still going on. Please, please, please give what you can. Uh, we need your help uh, all we can get there. Um, new site up and running. Use that search function. Request what you want. Pick up gift cards. Do whatever you can do uh, to make sure that you get exactly what people want into the hands of the people who have been waiting for it because I know our production schedule it takes a while to roll over sometimes um, but the new site should help uh, streamline that and then remember we have that Veterans Day sale coming up the 4th through the 11th 15% off everything online so if you missed out on Wednesday's sale sorry uh, that's a bummer but also <laughs> you, you do have another chance to at least save a little bit of cash coming up here in November uh, and then make sure to use those hashtags Got red October bricks this month Homefront bricks in December, and then November is Great War bricks. Use got those it. hashtags. Use those Please. hashtags. That's all I got. Anything else? Like, comment, subscribe. Hashtag Red October. Use that. That's it. Thanks for watching.